so hello everyone welcome to this video in this video we are going over a very new try hack me room which is known as dunkel matry okay i don't know how to spell it correctly but i think uh, i spelled it correctly uh, so let's get started so this uh, room is actually about uh, investigating a ransomware attack using a tool called proc dot okay so actually i am not an expert in blue teaming or in pro a uh, proc dot but uh, i will try to make it uh, much easier for you and uh, will try to help you in uh, many more things and uh, the thing here uh, or the context here given is that uh, the firewall actually alerted the soc okay the security operations center that uh, one of the machines at the sales department which is stored or contained all the customers data so the machine which actually contained all the customers data contacted some malicious domain over the network okay so this we know and uh, when the security analyst looked closely then they found out that the domain contained some uh, then then they found out that the data which was sent was uh, encoded in base 64 strings okay so this they found out then they involved the incident response team and then they uh, tried to gather up the process monitoring and network traffic data okay so we will be given the process monitor logs and network traffic data logs okay uh, <coughs> so that's the case and uh, when they got involved about the host then they found out that uh, there was a ransomware attack okay by looking at the wallpaper and by reading the ransomware note okay so these things are given to us this is the context about the whole room and uh, we just have to find more evidences about the compromise on the host and uh, what ransomware was actually involved in this attack so i have actually started the room as you can see i have been given an ip address and uh, this is the machine actually so the thing here is i'll just uh, slide it down so you will just have to open the proc dot app okay so when you open the uh, proc dot app you just have to just change this file uh, to take it as C, uh, csv files okay so you will have to change this and then browse to the file uh, which is the log file or the csv file about the process monitoring things and uh, then you will have to uh, locate the uh, network traffic file that is the pcap file packet capturing file which can be opened up in wireshark also so we will have to use uh, me uh, we will have to use wireshark and uh, proc dot at the same time uh, let's see if we have to use uh, wireshark or not but before that we just have to know that what are the questions which are being asked to us about this room so the first row, uh, first question is provide the two p ids or the process ids spawned from the malicious executable in uh, in the order as they appear in the analysis tool so the analysis tool about the processes are given to us is the proc dot okay so when we try to change the render configuration or we uh, see about all those th all those processes then we found find out that uh, this is the list this is the list of all the processes which were running at the time of logging okay so when the logs were being collected these all processes were running okay and uh, th uh, if you just uh, take a quick look at all these processes then you will find out many of them you are unfamiliar about okay so you will be uh, unfamiliar then you will just have to just search up on the google that uh, what is wpc talk what is con host is it from the system or is it a virus or is it a ransomware so you just have to do these things but when i just uh, try to look it is my personal experience i will not say that i am familiar with all these processes but i have also tried to just google them uh, i will be honest with this and uh, uh, I, b uh, before that uh, i just tried to look uh, over all these uh, processes and uh, i just found out that there was one process 
which seemed to be very suspicious to me so the process which seemed to be very suspicious to me was this uh the pro- with the processor i uh, process id 8644 with the name of explorer.exe it is not explorer.exe but it is explorer.exe there is a uh, one more e in between the r's and uh, as you can see there is the one and uh, when i searched out for it uh, on the google then i found out that it was actually a virus so i got it that this was the ransomware okay so this was the ransomware okay so as it was the ransomware and we have been asked about this that uh, what were the two process ids that uh, tried to uh, uh, spawn the malicious executable or the ex- explorer.exe okay so the ransomware was uh, initially executed by the process id 8644 so we have to find that when next it was uh, just spawned so, so i will just search explorer and i will i just found out that there was another process id which uh, which is 7128 which actually also tried to res- uh, spawn the ransomware so we have the two answers with us 8644 and 7128 <coughs> so i think that uh, uh, you got this point and let's start uh, with this provide the full path where the ransomware initially got executed so let's see if we can find out which path was there i will just double click and uh, i will just try to refresh it so that a graph will be generated uh, to us and uh, a graph will be given to us uh and that graph will include all those things related to the process okay so as you can see the proc dot app or the proc dot uh, application tool is uh, very powerful uh, because it gives us ease it gives us ease about uh, uh, analyzing all these uh, security things Uh, i will just so show you by the graph only i am just waiting that uh, when it will just pop up out okay i will just have to wait for a few more seconds you uh, till then you can just skip the video by 10 to 20 seconds since i am not editing this video i will just have to uh, tell you that uh, you just have to skip feel free to skip uh, the video by 10 20 seconds <coughs> so here we are with the interactive graph so it is not clearly visible to us but we will just zoom in so as you can see there is the blue ones uh, which is giving us the network things or the network data only the network traffic data and uh, if we just uh, scroll down then we find out that uh, there was the process uh, svchost.exe with a process id and uh, which has a thread of uh, thread id 7868 as you can see I'll just zoom in more and more, and you can see it t- triggered out some registries. Okay, and uh, when we move just more, we found out that uh, there was the explorer.exe or the ransomware. Okay, and which had the thread ID nine double zero eight. Okay, but the process ID, as you can see, it is also given there. So this uh, indicates us that uh, proc dot is a very powerful app. and it gives us uh, many uh, ease at analyzing all these things let's see uh, what all things the ransomware has done if you see here uh, all the uh, red color things are trying to say about the uh, ransomware things okay 
so i just have to find out uh, find out that uh, uh, when did the ransomware got executed uh when did the ransomware got executed and here it is the ransomware was executed from this file as you can see i'll just have to go into the details maybe i could find it so here it is as you can see with the uh, file's location is c slash user slash data slash app data slash local slash temp uh, and slash the name of the uh, executable so we just have to write it here c slash users slash app data slash sales i think sales was before this sales app data local temp local temp and and explorer dot exe so that's the correct answer let's move on to the third question the third question actually asks us that uh, this ransomware transfers the information about the compromised system and encryption results to two domains over http post okay so actually it has done something over the network as we were given in the context okay so we are being asked that what are the two c2 domains okay what are the two command and control domains so let us see that if we can find this out from here and uh, as you can see all these uh, blue colored things are uh, saying about the network usage okay so uh, and so we will have to look out that uh, whether the ransomware has tried uh, to contact any domains or not i think uh, there has been no connection related with this process id but uh, we already know but we already know that uh, there was another process id okay uh which was uh, the 7128 so we will just have to look at the 7128 process id uh, and uh, find out that if that uh, process had triggered the uh, triggered the data sent to the uh, malicious domains so i will just have to change out the render configuration and this will take some time and uh, meanwhile you can just uh, skip the video uh, for 10 20 seconds i'll just have to make it uh, make you wait and i'm sorry for that <clears throat> and till the time it uh, actually tries to do those things i will just look up uh, whether there is uh, anything else we can do without uh, just looking at the system and uh, i think there is nothing else that we can do without the uh, next stuff i hope it uh, does it uh, process very fast but the thing is the cloud service of try hack me actually gives us a very uh, a small type of uh, or small a smaller weak type of processes uh, because uh, it is kind of uh, just expensive for them so here is the list and we just have to look about the next uh, occurrence of the uh, ransomware okay 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 let's see where it was 7128 here it is 7128 i will just double click i will just try to refresh it and the interactive graph will load out i know that this is taking some time and i'm just uh, uh, i'm just trying to say you that if you are just uh, uh, curious about the next thing just uh, try to skip this
skip by 30 seconds i think it will take some time sorry because uh, i am not uh, doing any editing work here because i am uh, really busy in uh, doing things so let's wait about this and uh, the actual thing which i wanted to tell about uh, this ransomware attack is that uh, this ransomware attack was actually happened okay so if you just try to search about this ransomware attack where this explory.exe was uh, 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 was the uh, ransomware which actually trying to steal the data and uh, give it back to other domains then uh, you will find out a very interesting story about it and uh, the ransomware uh, name is actually the black matter ransomware okay so you just have a question in the last about it now you have collected about some iocs from the investigation provide the name of the ransomware used in the attack okay so when you do all these questions then you will find out that uh, there is a linkage between all these things and the ransomware so here we are with the uh, with the, the graph and i will just zoom in <coughs> sorry for the interruption so here is the graph as you can see it actually triggered from this location and uh, i will scroll it down and uh, the next thing which is asked to us is the ransomware trans uh, when it, the ransomware transferred some things or the encryption results to somewhere we will just have to find where it transferred all those things so as you can see there is the red thing which is uh, saying about the 7128 or uh, uh, process id uh, which triggered out connection to mojobiden.com and uh, paymenthacks.com so it's actually easy for us uh, pro proc dot has made it easy for us and another special thing or the interesting thing you can say is that it also contacted www.cisco.com so it also contacts the cisco.com and this will give us a lead i will just tell you in some seconds before that i will just uh, write here mojobiden.com and uh, payment hacks.com because these were the malicious links you can also search about it if you don't have uh, just uh, assurance about it and we are being asked about the ips of the malicious domain it was already given with us that uh, this was uh, 146112 i will just copy the line and uh, clear this out and uh, i will just see about this and copy this so we will have to submit it and it is correct okay so let's move on to the next question which is uh, asking us to provide the user agent used to transfer the encrypted data to the c2 channel or to the uh, malicious domain okay so in order to find it we just have to we just need to look over the packet headers okay so we just need to look over the packet tcp packet so if you click over any of the domains you just have to follow the tcp stream or you just have to look over the tcp protocol packets okay i will just uh, try to make it bigger for you and i will just scroll down and here here you can find out that uh, there is the packet and it is trying to post something and it is a connection and uh, encoding also you can see contact uh, content type you can see and the user agent is also here firefox 89.0 okay so that's the case with us i think i can copy paste that and here it is so the next thing with us is provide the cloud security service that blocked the malicious domain so 
it is say, the question is saying that uh, uh, there was a cloud service uh, cloud security service which actually tried to block the domain okay so we need to find it so how we can find it we just have to look into all over the packets and uh, as we look over the packets we found out that there was a server <coughs> this server was uh, named at, uh, as a cisco umbrella and we also know that uh, the uh, uh, this uh, ransomware uh, tried to contact cisco.com so there may be a chance that cisco actually provided the uh, uh, cloud service and uh, this service tried to block the ransomware as we have no other thing given here then cisco umbrella is actually the answer <coughs> i'm sorry for this and uh, the next is provide the name of bitmap that the ransomware set up as the desktop wallpaper let's see what else things the ransomware has actually done as i can see it also triggered out a new thread id uh, which is uh, 4892 and uh, it actually tried to go over the registry of uh, wallpapers and it triggered to a file uh, which is named as i cannot spell it but i can see it here <coughs> i am extremely sorry for this and uh, the file name is levy 9 kpi 9r dot bmp so this is correct so we have to find out next in the process id <coughs> i am really sorry i am suffering from severe cold but actually making videos here so here <coughs> so here it is the uh, we have to find out the process id which tried to change the background wallpaper on the victims machine okay so we just need to find out the process id actually it is the thread id which is being asked the process id will be 7128 which triggered out this but the thread id will be 4892 so the question is actually asking us about the thread id but it is given process id i don't know why it has given it let's see about the next thing <coughs> the next thing is the ransomware actually mounted a drive it mounted a drive and assigned it a letter okay so it assigned it a letter so we have to provide the registry key path to the mounted drive including the drive letter okay so we have to find out that what was the drive what letter it got and uh, what is the registry key path so we go over all the things that uh, this uh, has uh, this ransomware has does as we look over all these things we just need to find out whether it has gone over mounting drives or not i will have to zoom it and here it is as you can see it has actually tried to mount a drive and assigned it a letter z okay as you can see it has tried to assign a letter z so this is the thing with us and uh, i will just uh, copy it and this is the answer with us so the last question i actually uh, told you about is the the black matter ransomware and i suggest you that you just search out about this ransomware and uh, just try to look over what all things it has done in the past and how it got uh, into the creation and yes we have done this room so i thank you that uh, you stayed with me because this was a long video and please uh, try to comment anything where 
you were uh, just uh, confused or didn't got the point i will really try to answer your questions and um, if you want me to make a specific uh, walk through videos for specific rooms i will just do that uh, so please comment it down i will really do that and uh, i will just uh, in the end try to say that don't be don't be afraid about uh, whatever room you are trying to do just do the room and uh, you will have the best so thank you for this and goodbye